Previously on The Potentialists. We're at Val's house and we gotta put up the hurricane shutters. Wow, what a big cocky house. <laughs> hey, got your hammer. What do we got here, Crystal? Homemade macaroni and cheese. Homemade fried chicken. Yes, I know you guys are jealous. Did you hear that? And I think that's a fail. That's gross. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. I'm drinking coffee that Audrey just made me this morning. And you know like when you heat milk and it kind of like gets like slimy? Well, I drank some and I almost passed out and started making weird faces and everybody was like, what the hell's going on there? But then LJ says that he likes that kind of feeling down his throat. Whoa, 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 I whoa, offered whoa. my coffee I did to not him. say that. Oh, yeah. I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> I said I don't mind it. I mean, it's just, it's just milk. If you don't, go ahead, drink it. You should be showing that. Just milk. And I stuck that in my mouth and spit it back out. Ew! <laughs> you serious? saw me do it! Are you serious? No, I did not see that. That's disgusting. But you said it was good. Was it good though? Did it taste it good? Be added flavor. <laughs> <laughs> After an unpleasant experience with the coffee, Alexa opted for water. I'm going to attempt to drink this entire thing by the end of the day. I woke up one day and said, I need more water. I went to Publix and I bought a big gallon of water and I brought it to the office and everybody was like, oh, that's cool. And then everybody was drinking big gallons of water. And I didn't, I was, I can't do one of those gallons a day. I mean, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying because obviously I need water every day, but I don't know about a gallon a day. Was that like a glass? Not even. <laughs> It wasn't even a glass. Uh, yeah, no. My first day of drinking water, I spent a lot of time in the restroom. You gotta be careful because if you're gonna drink the water, then you gotta make sure that you're near a restroom. <laughs> it doesn't taste like anything. It's amazing how water doesn't taste like anything. So we have a client, his name is Cesar Quintero and he's the owner of fit to go and we are now trying his new chef and he's also part of the Hugo Social highlight videos and Hugo Social is a division of Boa World. Basically what we do is we highlight businesses and we highlight owners and we give them a little bit of behind the scenes on exactly what these products or services do. So we used them and we wanted to test the food out, see what it was like and I love the convenience. I love the professionalism, and I love the variety of the food. It's awesome. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm on my way to go have breakfast with my family, my dad and my sister and my brother and my cousin, and I'm kind of excited. Yeah, I was excited until I got a call from my dad yesterday and he was trying to get me to do certain things and I don't want to. <laughs> and I'm working on learning how to stand up for myself. And right now, I feel like an idiot though. The truth of the matter is that I am seeing my mother this afternoon. And I'm scared. <laughs> I've been standing up to her via email. It's a heck of a lot easier to stand up via email than in person, especially when you're five foot two and she's five foot like 20. She isn't really that tall. And meanwhile, in another car. Oh, hey, Susie, what's up? I'm driving. Well, I figured as much as I'm on the passenger seat. Where are we going? We're going to the Doral Business Council Mixer. Making it happen every day in every way. That's the Boa way. Catch you later. Actually, we won't be seeing him for the rest of the episode. But from what I understand, they had a wonderful time at the mixer. And meanwhile, back in the previous car yet again. I did breakfast with my family. My father was really rather rough with me and trying to get me to admit that I was mean or whatever to my mother. But I did not budge, even though my sister tried the same thing. Anyway, I am now on my way to go meet with my mom. And I'm scared. The falls. Safe zone, hopefully. While the girls pull out the scooter, let's see what's going on back in Valerie's car. So, just finished with my mom. I don't really know how to describe it. It went, wasn't bad, wasn't great, good I guess. I know I'm emotionally drained and I barely spoke, but I guess 
You gotta rip the bandaid off at some point, right? It's ripped. And once Sabrina had finally got the bike onto the street. All you need is sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> he looks all hipster. Oh my god, Jesus Lord, I'm so sorry for what I've done. <laughs> Save me. How you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?